All right. Uh, welcome to a math refresher on linear algebra. Now this will be our uh, our first one. And what are we going to discuss? Well, we're going to discuss what a scalar is, a vector, a matrix, a tensor, and also eigenvalues. But first, I want to make you understand why linear algebra is so important uh, for AI and machine learning. In lesson one, we discussed two problems, a regression problem, classification problem. In the regression problem, we try to predict the price of the house given the size of the house. The size of the house we call the feature, and that was the input, xi, and the price of the house was called yi, and this we call the label. So the machine gets the inputs and the labels, and then finds a model that maps the x's to the y's. Yeah? Now in classification is exactly the same. The feature here, the xi, were the weights of people, whereas the y label here was either the person is obese or the person is not obese. So here again we have an input xi, in this case be a weight in kilograms, and you find a model so that you can find that the person is obese or not obese. So here y is an element of r, r means all the real numbers, and here y is either a 0 or a 1. So it's all about transformations. Another important point is whenever we're going to do machine learning, and especially deep learning, we're going to use, for example, TensorFlow from Google. And TensorFlow eats tensors for breakfast. So the only thing TensorFlow does is processing numeric, numerical uh, operations and so everything that has to go into TensorFlow we need to convert into a number. This may sound trivial but uh, imagine there's machine learning problems that work on text. So that means we'll have to find a way to convert a text into a number. Yeah? And these are just different blocks of numbers. The, so the essence of machine learning is to find a transformation, and that's where linear algebra comes in, that maps an input to an output. Yeah? So let's now go through these uh, blocks of numbers. The most simple one is a scalar. Yeah? A scalar we call a tensor of rank 0. We call a scalar. And a scalar is nothing more but a number, any real number. Yeah? It only has a magnitude, right? So here I'm going to use a NumPy notation. NumPy is a library of Python. And I will use the same notations that we would use in NumPy. So for a scalar, for example, we have number 5. We put it between square brackets. The next, uh, the next number or block of numbers are vectors. And vectors are elements of R squared. Why R squared? Well, there is R on the X side and there is R on the Y side. So we call this R squared. Yeah? Um, difference is here that a vector not only has a magnitude, it also has a direction. Yeah? You see the notation we will use for vector is we put a little bar on top of the, of the, the, the number. Yeah? Here, for example, definitions. Definitions 1x, 1y are unit vectors. Yeah? These are these little lines here with the arrow. These are the unit vectors. Now I drew two vectors, a vector w here. It's a column vector, so it has components x2, y2. How do I find that? Well, by projecting actually here, this would be the y2. And by projecting here, that would be the x2. The same for a vector v which will have coordinates x1, y, y1. Yeah? And that's also the projection of v to x-axis is x1. The projection to y-axis is y1. Now, these vectors v and w, we call them a vector space, or sometimes also called a linear space. If the addition of v and w is also an element of r squared. So that means that v plus w is also, is also an element 
of our squirt. Huh? How do you add two vectors? So you see the red and the blue arrow. You draw a parallelogram and then you do like this. This is T plus W. Okay, this is how we add vectors. Should have seen this in high school. The second uh, characteristic for V and W to be a vector space or a linear space is scaling. Scaling means that A times V um, is an element of R squared. And if A is positive, it will be in the direction of V. And if A is negative, if A is negative, it will be in the other direction of V. So you have a vector V here. AV will just be, you know, pulling this out a bit. This would be AV. And it's still an element. It's still an element of the, of the vector space. If A is negative, well, you go this way. Huh? AV would be here. The other direction. But this is important. A vector space and a linear space is a space where you have the addition and where you have the scaling uh, characteristics. By the way, it's exactly what the term linear and linear algebra means. Huh? It's about these two characteristics. Now a basis, you have 1x, 1y unit vectors. They form a basis when they're linearly independent. What does it mean linearly independent? Well, it means that I cannot write the unit vector of y as a linear combination of the unit vector of x. Uh, I can't do it. They're perpendicular to each other, so there's no way I can do it. So, two linearly independent vectors form a vector space, uh, and they span the whole space. So any vector in this space can be written as a linear combination of the unit vectors 1x and 1y. Now let's try that. So let's uh, take the vector v. Yeah. The vector v, I would say, when I do this here, it's roughly one and a half. So it's 1.5 unit vector x. And here, it's about two times plus two times the unit vector y. So that is why uh, the unit vectors form a basis. They span the space. Any vector here in here I can write as a linear combination of the two unit vectors. Okay, transpose of a vector. Transpose is relatively easy. Huh? Usually we write vectors as a column vector with their x and y component. But sometimes we write them as a row vector, and so V transpose just changes the column vector to a row vector. Columns becomes rows. As simple as that. Now here, the tensor of rank 1, we call a vector. And in NumPy, in NumPy you have pi, for example, 2. That's a vector. Yeah? So the straight brackets here and just your number, this is a vector. Another vector could be 4, 0. Yeah? These are all vectors. Okay, let's take a look at a few more uh, characteristics.